Hi everybody, um, I'm just coming back on here today with another video trying to get caught up on these since I got my new camera. Um, I've gotten several pocket letters since my camera died, so let's get started with this one. This one is from Becky. She's Branson Hill 100 here on YouTube and I'll link her down below. And I love blue, so I really like this one. It's with the tea time, and I've had this one for a while, so I've taken some of the things out of the back. He sent me a pair of earrings, which is neat. Didn't ever think about that with a pocket letter. A pair of earrings, cool. And her note, which I've already read. And like I said, you know, I've taken stuff out because it's been a while since I got this one. I was just waiting on getting a new camera to video it. So, thank you Becky for that one. And the next one I got, it's been a little while since I got this one also. And this is from, <coughs> excuse me, Cheryl. And she's one of my favorite swappers. I, we've swapped probably ten times in the last year. And she got started doing this 12 by 12 and kind of got me into that. And she's the only one that I swapped 12 by 12 with. So she had sent me this one, Snowman. <coughs> Excuse me, which I thought was really cute. And, you know, I've had this one for a little while, so I've already taken out some of the goodies in the back. But she also decorated the back. So you really can't tell the difference between the front and the back, which is neat. And these, um, I'm going to be putting in a different binder for the 12 by 12 And she put the little cookie cutters on the strings on the side. It's kind of like her little trademark. She always has stuff along the side a lot. So that's really cute. And so the way that we mail these, if anybody's interested in doing this, the um, 12 by 12 swap, you know, usually people mail the, the regular ones this way. Well, the way that Cheryl and I mail these to make them fit is we just do that. And then we'll fold them over like that. So, you know, it's not, it's a little bit more bulk, but not, you know, it's not crazy big. So, if you happen to see some of the 12x12 12 12 face protectors and want to give it a try, it's not that much more to do that. <coughs> And I got this one today from Cheryl also. It's today. And she wanted to do another swap, so we did a another twelve by twelve and my birthday is this coming week or week after. So she sent me a birthday one. And again she did her side her side thing, which is always cute. And this is the back. Now, I already took a couple of things out of here. She had some Laffy Taffy in the middle, and when I got this, I was needing some sugar, so I got that right out. There's a set of cute stickers, and I don't really know how she did this, but I think I need to learn. <laughs> so I'll be messaging her and find out. She put my name on this. It looks like a rubble one. You know, I'm not sure. I'll have to ask her. It's so cute though, this little part. I'm going to make a magnet out of it and put it on my message board here by the, the desk. And then that one says I love pocket letters. And that's just made out of felt. So cute. So I just love that. That's on it. And some shinies and some chocolate lips and lots of bling and some flowers. So that's just so neat. And that one aside. And then, oh, the other thing that she sent with that was um, this mm -hmm. little... Uh, post-it note holder which is cute and I'll be putting on my desk to have to jot down stuff and ideas and then also this is so cute she sent me a stack with her note a stack of these little notepads it's like three of each one of them I saw she posted these on her Facebook page and I commented on them and oh she sent me some this one says an important message from and then the absolutely fabulous and 100% phenomenal me. There's just a ton of good little note, note sheets in there. So I will definitely be using those if I don't just hoard them and not use them because they're so cute. And it came wrapped in this pretty, pretty paper with Tim Baker's twine. And I keep all that stuff because you never know when you're going to need it again. Okay, the next one that I got is from Jamie Paget. And I'm I hope I'm saying that right, Paget. I'm not sure. 
and I won't show the front because it has her address on it, but she put this cute, cute duct tape on it. Geometric, so cute. So, that caught my attention in the mail <laughs> mailbox, first thing for sure. And she had mine wrapped up in this very cute Valentine ribbon. I'll be using that on something. And it was wrapped in this with the cute stickers and the washi tape. And then she had it in the bag. <laughs> so she really packaged this up good. She also sent two sheets of these stickers, which are so, so cute. So that was her packaging. And here is the pocket letter that I think is so cute. I, the little trees got kind of bent, but that's okay. Because she had to fold it. So. And it's got owls, which is so cute. And on her side, she has a baker's wand, and then there is a charm on here that's got a hand, and it says handmade. Sammy, where did you get these? These are so cute. I need some of those. I need to find out where you got those. So comment below if you let me know where you got those. She got the little clothes pins and all the bright colors above. And she has got this thing loaded down on goodies, you guys. I mean, it was loaded. Gosh. Here's a little notepad. Cute. And some little coins. Trinket coins. Some chocolate bears. Some good earth sweet and spicy herbal tea. There is a little notepad. And some of the orange binder clips. This thing is so dimensional, it's hard to keep everything in there. And then some banana hand milk samples and some tomato sticks. I'm not sure what that is. But I love these little sample things because I'm a sucker for samples. It looks like this came from a foreign country. So I'll have to try that out. Yeah, it definitely came from a foreign country. Look at that. It's so cool. And then she sent a little packet of erasers, which is so cool. Why that little butterfly? My daughter will definitely get that little skull. She'll see it and get it. So, always need erasers. And I think this is, oh, is this a whack a pack or a Oh, yeah, this is the smash the pack. Yeah, I'll have to do this one and put it on my, on my entertainment center with all my other little birthday and um, Valentine's little goodie, so it's a little whack a pack, you know, with a balloon. It's cute. And I already read her note. And this is the Righteous Butter, um, body butter sample. So that's how I love getting samples in these. I really, really do. So that is the one I got from Jamie, and she got mine. Um, last week she was so worried because this didn't this was about a week behind delayed because of their snowstorm up there in Maryland but I knew it was coming girl I wasn't worried about it it was gonna get here so it finally got to Little Rock we did the tracking it finally got to Little Rock yesterday so so it made it to me so thanks guys for watching and there are definitely more videos coming up I'm not sure how long it's gonna take each one to get uploaded so I'm just going to keep making them and I'll put them aside until I go to bed tonight and keep uploading. So I just want to show you guys a little preview of some things that is coming up. I'm going to show you guys how to make this little owl with the owl builder punch from Stampin' Up. And here's a little, another little sneak peek of a card we're going to be doing. And I also have a video on embossing coming up again. We're going to kind of go back over some embossing things. I did that in Boss Resist video last week, and we're just going to kind of go back and, and get more in depth with that embossing. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.